guys, Cruel Blind Wave. I'm Eric. Right. Aaron. And we're back with Brooklyn Nine Nine. Yes, fellas. Last time on Brooklyn Nine Nine. Well, and Rosa were after the white whale. They were. They, they got were. her. And we were fixing wedding things to have them all set up, right? Mm-hmm. Terry and Jake. For a wedding. The, the, the wedding that's coming. There's a wedding. Amy and. Very soon. It's true. I'm very excited. Yeah. I mean, they did have that baby before the wedding. So. They did. Who? Remember on the airplane? She was pregnant. She was pregnant. I can't believe this is a rec center. It looks amazing. You look amazing. Foxy wow. is This isn't bad. No, no, I love it. Amp it up, Boyle. Happy to. The Jake, wedding. Your body's kicking and skin is clear as a summer day. Ooh. Jake. Ames, you look beautiful. But what are you getting your makeup put on? Y'all, she woke up like the... Uh... Not now, Jake. We're in crisis mode. What happened? Jake hasn't arrived no. yet. Mason woke up with the chicken pox, oh. so we don't have a ring bear. That's a lot. Plus, look what I found on my veil. What? I planned everything so perfectly, and now it's all Poop? falling apart. No, it isn't. Take You're not supposed to see her today, right? Got this. Harry, in her dress. You don't see her in her dress traditional. Take this veil That's the to a dry cleaner, and if they won't do a rush job, make them use force. I mean, we're not going to abuse our power. Of course not. We're good cops. <laughs> I was just exaggerating. Rosa, I was not exaggerating. Great. <laughs> great. great. <laughs> this actually might be a blessing in disguise. I know that he's your nephew, but I wasn't super jazzed about Mason. Yeah, he should be cuter. His face is too small for his head. He's a Dick Tracy villain. But I have an idea for a yep. new ring bear. That's so correct. <laughs> is it going to be <laughs> boils? I'm talking about Cheddar the Dog. <laughs> Shatter. Shatter. He loves responsibility. Our band canceled? Not in any way, shape, or form, but it's a very stressful oh. day, and I thought things would go better without his car. Yeah. Oh, that's so smart. That's smart. He's doing so well. <laughs> He's ready. <laughs> that would be the cake guy saying he has arrived. Hello? Jake Peralta. Yes? There's a bomb at your wedding. It's set to explode at 5.30. Everyone inside will die. What? So, that was not the cake guy. It's okay. Is this like a that was die the, hard prank? That was the trivia murder guy from Jackbox. No. It yeah. was exactly he, that. He's right. It is him. <laughs> there was a bomb at this wedding. Your butt. Your, your butt, butt is the bomb. Stupid engagement announcement Charles put in the paper. Had the time Charles put in the ceremony. <laughs> Amy, very careful about throwing around accusations like that because if you're trying to say I somehow ruined Jake's wedding, then I'm going to kill myself. So <laughs> okay, just take it easy, Charles. Nothing is ruined. See, the so squad hurt. is already here. And they brought a robot. Cool. This is exactly how I imagined my wedding would be when I was a kid. Well, well, well. <laughs> it's it's Pilsner guy. guy. Oh, no. Your ex-boyfriend uh-huh. is here on our wedding day. Why? This is my crew. Yeah, you called me boring, so I leveled up my cool, and now I run the bomb squad. I also started traveling. I went to Belgium. They have the best spaghetti. Eddie, let's get everything out on the table here. Last time we saw you, you kind of proposed to Amy, so you're not still in love with her, right? No, I definitely am. My therapist told me to stop trying to get over it. Uh, Weird thing with hype deep for your own pride. But seriously, don't worry. I'm a cop. I have a job to do. I'm going to do it professionally. That's great. I'm happy to hear that. Meaning I will be doing a super thorough sleeping in the building. It's going to take hours, so you should probably just cancel the wedding. Anyway, congrats to you two. Congrats on the bomb squad. Charles! Right. So. Hey, he did it. Bringing someone to the wedding? No. Taking a break from dating for a while. What? Sick of asking. Anyone on the street could be that. Right, it feels like you can go how to talk to your bisexual friends. Then? Yes. The, the point is, <laughs> yeah. you can close yourself off all you want, the universe will find a way. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Carson. Hi, I'm here to pick up Rosa. Are you the one I'm looking for? <laughs> <laughs> Derry's face there is so good. Sure, when I give the signal, we go directly to where the bride and groom will be. Here we go. Hop, 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 oh hop, hop. Good the dog boy, show. good cheddar. In this life, it's sometimes the unlikeliest outcome. It feels like you're winding up to propose again here. I was good catch. Amy, would you? <laughs> no. I did it. All right. Well, you still did it. Time to reconsider. Nicotine patches. You just put it on your shoulder and whoop, stuck it right on your face, huh? I want as close to my brain as possible. That's settling. All right, listen. Up. Take a note. All we have to do is figure out who my arch nemesis is. Look, I was oh, okay, the cake. told me Plaza wedding cake. It's oh, it's so beautiful. They caught it picking off a cell tower in Fort Greene, one block away from the last known address of Frank Gillespie. Who? I arrested him for armed robbery in 2008, and he got out of Rikers a year ago. He's got to be my arch nemesis. He's definitely obsessed with me. 
Just because you arrested him? Well, we didn't have enough evidence against him at first, so let's just say I had to get a little creative. You framed him? What? No, Ames. I went undercover and became best friends with him, and then he told me about his lymphoma, and we ran a 10K together, and then I arrested him. He felt so betrayed. The trial was very emotional. Okay, right. damn. Let's go talk to him. That must be our guy. Hey, great attitude, Ames. You're handling this really well. Ah, oh, there <laughs> they are. <laughs> All right, she should be here any minute. Her name is Alicia. Switch with me. That's your good side. I have a bad side. Oh, damn, you didn't know? All right, let me just focus on finding the mail. Really, it's not a big deal. I'm sure it's in her car. Oh, there she is. Do you mind if I slyly mention you're single? Do not do that. You won't even notice. Hey, you needed to see me again? Rose is single. What? Ignore him. We left a dry cleaning bag in your back seat. Oh, um, I didn't see anything, but you can take a look. The veil's not here, Rosa. We're so screwed! Hold on, don't freak out. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you doing? What? You were the one that said that? That was before the veil went missing, when life was breezy! <laughs> when life was breezy. Was so heavy. Because you made them do an all frosting interior. <sighs> all frosting? I can't wait to eat. It's it. all frosting? Know? What? This cock and skeleton are gonna die. Go Everything okay? No, no. They only said Gina once, and it was kind of in the beginning. Uh -huh. Did you read the email? Are you the commissioner? I haven't opened it yet. What? Today is Peralta and Santiago's wedding. I don't want to make it all about me. So you're scared uh, to open no. it? It's absurd. I simply want everyone to focus on the bride and groom, and not on whether my lifelong dream, which I spent decades working towards, has collapsed in front of my eyes, leaving me untethered in this world and unsure of my very <laughs> future with the NYPD. All right. <laughs> Gina enough here. <laughs> Frank, he died a year ago. What? What happened? Well, his lymphoma came bad, but really, it was the loneliness. Oh. Somebody heard him and he just couldn't make friends yet. Oh, Frank. So, it seems like he died because of me. I'm gonna lock that up in a little box in my brain and never open it. <laughs> hey, do you remember Don already, <gasps> that money launderer I arrested? He lives right around here, too. So? He hated me. What if this is the work of my arch nemesis and not yours? Oh. So you're suggesting I'm Ooh. not involved in this at all? <laughs> you hear yourself, right? That's <laughs> a bit of a stretch. Yeah, Amy. Are you actually mad that someone might not hate you? Yeah, I am, Amy. Oh, wow, it's a bad color on me, isn't it? All right, fine. We'll check out your guy, and I'll be totally fine with it if it's him. Oh, man. Oh. Even the eyes are all scratched out. <laughs> Found it. We're going to share everything. Bank account. Hey, guys, from Tenacious D, it's Kyle Gass. Oh, that's nice, Ames, but you don't have to say that. Charles, will you put this picture of me up on the wall? Kyle Gass. Oh, <laughs> it's your driver's no license. Idea. Is that all his role is? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Is that him? Yeah. Hi, Katie. And Linda, what are you doing here? How'd you get past the police barricade? Well, I moved them. Now, I know I was supposed to come. Meet Dario. He has a wall full of Amy photos, and he's the one that made the bomb threat. And I met Linda. Oh. Okay, and Linda, I love you, but you gotta go. Okay? Thank you. Get some water here. All right, Dario, tell Lieutenant Wells what you told us. Okay, I've hated Detective Santiago since she arrested me, and then I saw that engagement announcement in the paper. But you could have figured out where the wedding was even without that, right? No, I was trying. I had totally given up, really. Oh, God, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> well, what did he look like? I don't know. I mean, he was wearing some dumb hat. I'm sorry, I know that's unhelpful. All hats are dumb. Fuck. <laughs> is that your laugh? Also, quick vibe. Is that your laugh? <laughs> sorry, man. That's what the universe wants. Screw the universe. The universe is a dick. <laughs> wow, you are so smart. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It oh shit, it's right oh, there. Oh, no. Is that a bag? It's kind of dirty looking. But, you know, that's why they put it in a dry cleaning bag. Yeah. I'm sure everything inside is totally, nope, soaked in urine. Oh. Damn it, New York. Why is there urine all over in the city? New York. Who's staring at your film? Where is it? Better? Better. Oh, no, the cake. Oh, he ate the cake. Oh, cheddar. <laughs> <laughs> you furry little pig. <laughs> Apple is a chocolate. I've been doing a lot of Pilates, so I'm pretty huge at this point. Charles. Going in. What? Look, this is all my fault. I put the announcement in the paper and ruined this. But there is a bomb. And now I'm going to be the one to fix it. Get ready, you two. I'm about to save this one. Ah, <laughs> Damn it, Dario. Why did you say there was no bomb? Because I wanted to kill Amy. Then why did you call in the threat? I didn't. My daughter found my hidden room and discovered the blueprints. Please get the bomb out of the vent and dispose of it somewhere. Honestly, I wish we could. Talk to my parents? Yeah, they ended up having dinner together. It sounded like they had fun. Our dad's only gotten one arm wrestling match. Who won? Neither. They both threw out their shoulders. <laughs> Jimmy Smith. <laughs> that sounds like both of them. Jimmy's a little bigger, I think he would have won. It seems like everything sucks, but... 
why don't we just get married tomorrow? You know, we won't have a venue or a band or any of our guests, but we could go to City Hall. Jake, do you really want to get married in the same place people go to get restraining orders? Amy Santiago, I would marry you anytime, any place. I would marry you in the steaming filth of the Guanas Canal. Sweet, but also gross. I would marry you on the G train in the summertime when the air conditioning is broken. Damn, really? I would marry you on top of the Empire State Building. Oh, that sounds good. During a King Kong attack. Oh, that would be so cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. City Hall, please. No! I'm Steve shopping. I'm always Steve shopping. I don't like it. Look, I didn't spend the last seven years watching your love ripen, only to have it sullied by a City Hall wedding. You're getting married right here, right now. What? Come on, Boyle, I don't even have a dress. You can wear Gina's. I'm sure it's white. There's no way Gina was going to wear a white dress to my wedding. No, I definitely was. Of course she was. What? I thought you'd just wear a gray pantsuit or something. I would never wear a gray pantsuit to your wedding. I promise you that. This is happening. Jake and Amy are getting married tonight. Title of my sex tape. What? What? Yeah. I got a lot for work. Give me a Man, just flip the fuck out. 28 minutes later. Wow. He's gonna wear that to a wedding. Thank you. This dress is incredible. It's wedding time! Downstairs. Okay. Oh, oh, wow! Fucking sweet! Charles is such a good friend. <laughs> <laughs> that is the title of his sex really tape. You like it. But if you don't, I will kill myself. Charles, it looks amazing. <laughs> Beautiful. How can I ever repay you? Get. Holy crap. Wait, you got everything. We're here. Where have you guys been? You should the band. Find a band. Great. I definitely remember doing that. It took a while, but I think we really nailed it. Check this guy out. We found him on the subway. Hey, I know you. You're Malignos. Yeah. No. We have never met. No, he's the guy from the apartment. You sell me horse blood? No. Would you like to buy horse blood? No. You know, maybe we don't need music for this. That's totally fine. We can just skip that part of it. Yeah, he's not doing it. Guitar. Holy crap. Guitar. <laughs> Who is he? He, they were doing a search and they found him. I'll shut it. Dot shredded paper, paper yeah. dress, great. So good. <laughs> I don't know where they got the lights from. What about Shutter? It, he's in a food coma. <laughs> yeah. An icing coma. I wanted to see him trot. I was going to do an Adams Family themed rap, but my beatboxer isn't here. That's the only reason it's not happening. So, Ames, today has been. No, you better say it. But I shouldn't be surprised because we've had a lot of crazy days. There was our first date, our first kiss, the first time you told me you loved me, and the day you told me you would marry me. Also, yesterday, and the day before that, and the day before that, because every single day that I get to be with someone as amazing as you is crazy to me. I love you, and I'm worried about dancing in front of our friends. <laughs> the end. Life is unpredictable. Not everything's in our control, but as long as you're with the right people, you can handle anything. And you, Jake Peralta, are the right person for me. But I do have some bad news. There is a bomb at this wedding as well. What? Your butt. Your butt is the bomb. There will be no survivors. Oh, it's even better. <laughs> Oh, it's great. I thought he was going to say it, but I love that she did. Uh, I do too. <laughs> Beetle nose. Can we bear? We can bring the rings. But I thought Cheddar was sick. Oh my god. You got the robot. The robot, the robot, the robot. robot at my wedding. Yeah, I felt bad about how everything went down today, so I offered to help. Oh, that's nice. Also, are you guys doing the thing where someone gets to no. object to this union? Okay. Is that later? We're not doing that. You've outsmarted me. Congratulations. You've okay. outsmarted me. Do you, Amy Santiago, take Jake Peralta to be your husband? And do you, Jake Peralta, Spoil. take Amy Santiago to be your wife? I absolutely do. By the power <laughs> vested in me by the state of New York, I'd like to announce that your honeymoon vacation request status has officially been moved from pending to approved. Oh, great. <laughs> You're married. You make us the bride. Now 
that everyone's here, I have an email that I need to open. Yeah, that's something we usually announce to the squad. It says if you got the commissioner a job. Oh, yes. He was too scared to read it all day. I was, until I heard something very wise tonight. Life is unpredictable. Not everything is in our control. But as long as we're with the right people, we can handle anything. So I'd like to receive this news with all of you. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Well, from a look on my face, I'm sure you can guess what it says. No, we have no idea at all. Just tell us, you monster. Not enough. No, what? son of a bitch. Damn you, Lon. <laughs> it's a good wedding episode. I liked it. Sometimes when wedding episodes come up in TV shows, I don't know if it's going to be too much or not. I sure. like this one. I also like how they kind of got around not having to bring in all these crazy guest stars as their parents and family and stuff. Eh, well, everybody was here, but then they left. So yeah. we're going to do a small wedding over here. It's a good excuse to not have to get Jimmy Smiths and Josh Lehman and all that stuff to come in, you know? But the, why'd they go to the bar, though? What do you mean? What about the Jello wrestling after party for the wedding? Right? Wasn't the Vulture doing yeah. like a Jello party yeah. wrestling thing? Maybe this is the after after party. Oh, maybe. Okay. They're not covered in jello, though. Maybe. Probably not. They're not. But no, yeah, I agree, Eric. I, I did like it. I thought it was done pretty well. I really loved Boyle being like, Get 30 minutes! Like, he was getting to freak out. <laughs> like, 30 minutes! <laughs> and he took off running. He pulled and then off, he, those doors open, and I'm like, this looks I great. I you like it, or I will kill myself. <laughs> He's such a good friend, man. Uh, Jake and Amy get married tonight. <laughs> the title of my sex tape. It says everything about him. Sure. He's fucking the one guy. He's like, but you already knew where it was gonna be, right? He's like, no, I had given up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> my, he had the shrine. His my, daughter made my the daughter call. found the culprits. <laughs> <laughs> but she's a voice changer. I guess she didn't want her dad to get in trouble. Yes. Right? So like, I you guess. give the warning. You hope yeah. it gets rid of it. Uh, man, he lied. That son of a bitch. Yeah. Well, I want you to die. <laughs> well, Teddy was right about everything he said, though. It, I mean, sure, it felt like he also wanted like the wedding not to happen. Yeah. But he's like, "What if? How do you know it's not the daughter found out about it, found the blueprints, and you know warned you?" And that's exactly what happened. He's yeah. like, "You just gonna trust every criminal that says he didn't do it?" Like, Damn it! You make a good point. Yeah. <laughs> and that's exactly both of those things happened. It's the last place they checked. Yep. It's like, guy, oh, you know, it's, I'm sure it's fine. It's like, no, small van can't get in there. Can yeah. Take a while. It's great. It's done really well. I liked it a lot. Yeah, that that actor that played uh, what was his name? The bomb guy. I don't know. D Dario. Dario. But yeah, that was Kyle Gass, KG from Tenacious D. That guy is a Juilliard trained guitarist. He is so good with the guitar. They teach you how to play guitar at Juilliard. Yeah, they do everything at Juilliard. Oh, I only heard of actors. Yeah, I didn't know they did other stuff. Yeah, like they gymnastics, do, like, singing, and music. And yeah, stuff it's of the arts. Okay, so not gymnastics. Maybe yeah, Juilliard trained gymna yeah. gymnast. They might do Dancing is almost in this. Mm. About a Pokemon Master. That'd be some shit. A Juilliard mm, yeah. trained Pokemon Master. Maybe you'd be the first. Come on, Juilliard. <laughs> you gotta get in and then start a whole new program. <laughs> start a whole new program. I was trying to like rack my brain. Who would want to destroy this? And Pilsner guy definitely showed up, but they immediately called that one and like that can't be him now. Because he's already trying to ruin the weapon. Yeah. The daughter said that the bomb would be in the wedding cake. Did she, she, she say the wedding too. cake? I didn't remember her saying it. She said there's cake. a bomb at your wedding. It will explode at 5.30. Or something like that. But there wasn't anything about a wedding cake. Why did I write down 5.30 bomb and wedding cake? I don't know. Yes. There's a bomb at your wedding. It says it's exploding at 5.30. Everyone inside. That's where I got the cake from. Yeah. He thought it was the cake guy calling about the cake. But it wasn't that there was a bomb in the cake. God. I wonder who... Wait, wait, what, what were you thinking when Cheddar ate the cake? Were you like, no, the bomb's in the cake? I thought Cheddar! it was just a prank. <laughs> okay. I love Cheddar's little. <laughs> that was chocolate on the outside. The yeah, dog would dogs, not be in good shape. It's toxic to, to dogs, chocolate. Too things. much will kill them, I think, right? Yeah. Well, too much of anything will kill them. Water. Wow. Febreze. Yeah, I guess so. Icing <laughs> in the cake. <laughs> Yeah, icing-filled cake. A cake made of icing. Sounds terrible. 
depends on the icing. No, there's certain it doesn't. icing that's good. No. And maybe you can have like some little like cake sticks to dip in. Melanie Crunchy? often like she will want a piece of cake so yeah. she can eat some of the icing off the top, and she doesn't want cake. Oh. She just wants that icing, and then she gives me what's left. I'm like, I don't want cake with no sure. icing. <laughs> so then I gotta scrape icing off of like whatever's left from like where people took pieces of cake yeah, and try to get the icing stuck to the lid. Put that on top yeah. of it, try to get a little bit of icing on this cake. I do like having a side piece that has the extra icing on the side, not to always have icing, but I like to be able to control my cake to ice. Mm. You know a what side I mean. piece of yeah of what? the cake. A side I piece of it. cake. Got it. I get. They all got it. A side piece of cake. Yeah. I just wanted your side piece to nope. feed you cake. I mean, that is also fantastic, but no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cheddar, you furry little pig. What do you th Did he get it? I'm trying to read his face. Wow. <laughs> right? Replay. Well, obviously, I want to see if we can my face. I think he got it. But does that mean he would leave the show? <clears throat> no. I mean, he was banished to the PR place. Let me see if I can read, read his the show. face. Go so back to the phone put, and enhance. He put his... No, you can't. He did this. It's, it's too blurry. I mean, it's just one. This is real. But two, in terms of okay. body yeah. language. I don't know what his... He looks, he reads. Like That kind of looks not happy, right? I say didn't get it. You think he got it? Got it. Hey, that's a face that he got? Wait. Eric. Eric. Keep this up here just for this reason. What? We got 19 bucks on the line. Why would you do $19? All right. I currently am the holder of the $19. <laughs> I say he didn't get it. I think he got it. Well, hey, who else oh. did? Yeah. <laughs> you go. I'll just be on the ruling side. Your hand's so warm. I, I can't. Your hand's so cold. Why is your hand so warm? It's normal temperature. <laughs> Yours is freezing. Is my hand extra warm? It's a little warmer than mine. I'm not running hot. It's a little... Passionate man. Got my side piece of the cake. <laughs> <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, subscribe as we're hitting a million subscribers this year. I want you to be a part of that. It's also the next four episodes of uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine available over patreon.com slash blindway. You can find the links in the description below. Go check that out for early access right now.